Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Partly cloudy today. Some scattered showers. 68 the high. They're hovering right around 58 now. Boy, look at the clouds. Those are great. Big win for the Griffs last night. That was pretty awesome. Loved hearing Kayser and Fergurski on the call earlier. We played the highlights. The Griffins do a great job putting that up. GriffinsHockey.com. You can see the highlights. Though, He's fantastic. Well. Mm-hmm. Um, but, man, the, the, when they get the tying goal and the go-ahead and then eventually the empty netter that seals the win. Uh, do you have that one-minute clip? I've got it. Yeah, I want to awesome. do it again. All Damn right. right. Let's do it again mm-hmm. before you get to your big political endorsement, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Griffin's trying to jam it so to the So the Griffins line. trailed it 2-1 to one, entering the third period last night. Griffin's trying to jam it to the line. They do just that. They've got it. Furk's going to cut in. New side, Laredo. Back Shoot to it. Furk in the high slot. He fires the save of the rebound. Score! Matt Laredo, what a play! It's a power play goal, and we are tied to a piece. Well, there's the way to answer back, and what does it come off? Of course, a big Marty Furk blast. Now 10 grady has got the puck, and the, the other way he goes. Across that line to Callahan. Back to 10 grady He walks right in front. Shot, big save of the rebound. And Grosnick's on top of it. It's it. still a score. Mitch Callahan has put the Griffins ahead with three minutes and 40 seconds to go. Wow, the big guy had the motors running. Casey's been doing it all night. He worked his way through traffic. Well, that last shot went through. There's a lot of traffic. It just hit Jared to the right side of his body. Went wide of the net. Minute two to go. Puck in the Griffins end. They're going to turn and send it all the way down. And they score. That puck almost turned in the point. Spectacular. Up two games to one in the conference finals. That the game was, comes up uh, Friday and Saturday. Jana will have tickets for those games. What a game to give away to see. in the next few hours. Fantastic, though. Mm-hmm. All right, Justin, you found some trash on the uh, trash. One person's trash is another man's yeah, treasures. Right, you, found, really. uh, you found a piece of uh, normal copier paper. Yep. This um, this looks like a ransom note. You said, let me pick that up and take this uh, with me. Hundreds of them were outside. Hundreds? Hundreds. Hundreds. Yes. It has been, were they all as stepped on as this? Well, this, yes, I got this three days after they were thrown off of a parking garage. Someone threw a stack of papers off a parking garage? Hundreds of them. So do you think that was their way of distributing them? That doesn't cover a very wide footprint. I think it was well, it, it was a bit windy, though. <laughs> Rob Bliss uh, around? Uh, this so, does seem like a Bliss yeah. joint. This was their technique. And I'm new to Michigan, and so I'm trying to get involved in politics. I need to know, sure. you know, who, who's representing me. Yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah, good. Yeah, you yeah. do. I mean, you want to know who's got your interests in mind. Right? You strike me as a political guy. Thank yes. you, Steve. Guy that yeah. wants to stay informed. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Normally, I don't pick up garbage. But there's a few great words I saw on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a few there's a few key words that really caught my eye. Okay. So, his name Wayman Britt. Wayman Britt? Yes. Like Raymond, but but Wayman like with a, okay. a speech impediment. Wayman. <laughs> Wayman. <Is> Wayman. <laughs> yeah, so Wayman Britt, apparently he's looking for votes. And this guy has a Wikipedia page? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So he used to be a I'll get into that after I get into this. Oh, okay. uh, is this the guy like from Vermont or Maine or whatever? Flint. Like uh, Vermin Supreme? No. The one no, who wears no. like a wizard <laughs> no. cape? A no, this guy's, this guy's legit. It's a real man. Okay. All right. So he's looking for support. To, he's running for controller slash administrator. I don't know what any of that is, but I'm trying to learn. Okay. okay. He w- I know he was named as the interim administrator in April. Yeah. After okay. a quick search. Okay. okay. But All he right. needs your vote to really clinch it. And I feel, with his qualifications, why would you not vote for the guy? All right, all right. Let's hear it. First qualification. This is all. For, this isn't that anything you looked up. This is what the flyer tells. This you. is right off the this flyer. Is what is the it, flyer. I, so, so I'm sure this is. This seems like it probably uh, was his flyer that yeah. he that he made. It's legit. Does this, um, does yeah. this classify a political ad where we'll have to give his competition equal time? Yeah, they have to throw some flyers off yeah. the deck that okay. Justin will pick uh, up yeah, four yeah, days exactly. later as well. Cool. Right. Yeah. Okay. Qualification number one. You guys tell me what you think about this one. Good at chatting. That's something that <laughs> I think, anybody who wants to be, an, yeah, an you got to be able to talk yeah. to the people. Yeah. Yeah. I think Otherwise, that's a, how are you going to get on the internet and meet strangers? Yeah, I think that's, that's a good. That means, I think right? that's a good trait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good trait for a okay. politician is uh, being able to chat. All right, got my, got my vote so far. So far, yeah, that's okay. not a red flag. That's a that's a positive attribute. Qualification number two. Yeah, have a penis. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. It doesn't say that, does it? It says right here, have a penis. Ha- have Not it, has, have. but have a penis. I don't really know what oh, all have a, have a penis. <laughs> yep. Um, so he's got a penis. Good at chatting. Have a penis. Now, does that matter? I want to be a no, city administrator, it, not a priest. Well, no, I'm not actually <laughs> sure. That, like, is it that he has a penis or is he offering a penis? Like, or a have a penis. One? Because that would be... Oh, because, oh. Because, because typically, yeah, it wouldn't, you know, it would say has a penis. Not He's the Oprah penis. of genitalia. Yeah. Have, have well, you have, have a penis. Have. You have a penis. You have a penis. Everybody gets penis. <laughs> yes, my qualifications. Good at chatting. Have a penis. <laughs> right. on, yeah. on, the yes. second, on the second bullet yeah. point of qualifications, I'm already questioning the legit, legitimacy of this black and white flyer you found on the ground. <laughs> I think it, uh, it's I th- double-sided. It's a definitely double-sided. A, oh, that's expensive. I can't yeah. this. It's okay. a legit flyer. Yes. It, is. it is 100% real. It's a, it's a tangible flyer. All right, it can be held in a hand. Mm-hmm. Number three. Mm-hmm. I'm reading it word for word. Don't know S about county government, even though I've been here 10 years. So that's wow. that's straightforward honesty. Do you get yeah. honesty from any politician? No, no, this is no, not. no that is. No, uh, you're still not. <laughs> this is not from him. This is the. Uh, yes, it I is. Mean, yeah, this is just the, ask me. This is the Trump world. <laughs> That we live in now. Yeah. It's got to be like a complete honesty saying it like it is. Name is I don't even think this is an elected job. Mm. Don't ruin this for me. The last right. qualification. Yeah, Justin didn't make the flyers. Yeah, man. I'm just the reader. Mr. Britt did. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's why this guy's getting my vote. Just okay. Have, have a penis, right? Yeah. Uh, we already yeah, got over he that. Offered, than that. He offered a penis. Thanks. He's upfront and honest. And I know how it's a little hard here in Michigan. Over 30 years of experience being the token black guy slash athlete in West Michigan. It's got to be tough. Oh, Ooh. wow. That's on the flyer. Yeah, huh? right that's right the, there. The token. Oh. And if you have any questions, it says right here, just ask me. Oh. I will be asking him. So I Googled his name to see how legitimate this man was. Holy cow. He's legitimate. Well, he's legitimate. That flyer doesn't is also seem- legitimate. Uh, um, uh, seems what? like somebody who might have a little bit of a bent against him. Kind I don't of. know. I mean, I thought it was his own, you know, especially with have a penis. He seems like he'd be generous <laughs> with his penis. But then that other stuff it yeah. seems like a, kind of more of a negative, um, uh, depending on how you read it. It sounds like it, it might be from someone who definitely had a penis. Had his penis? Mm. Maybe they're pissed? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So I looked him up to get a little research about this guy. Apparently, he went to Michigan, uh, the University of Michigan for college. He played basketball, a star basketball player on the yeah, team. He's a captain of the 76 team that lost to the undefeated Hoosiers in the NCAA championship. That's right. Oh, I, I he, remember that. Remember he played with Ricky Green? <laughs> I was just talking Ricky about Green Ricky Green. Ricky Green from down the street? <laughs> yes. Oh. The Ricky Green? Yeah, Draymond's cousin. Only. Yeah. Oh, um, that I, mean Ricky Green? Clean Ricky Green. Oh, clean. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. thinking mean Joe yeah. Green. Yeah. yeah. That was Common his, mistake. That was his yeah. brother. In 1976, hmm. he was drafted in the NBA to the Los Angeles Lakers, and later on in his career, he came home to Detroit to play for the Pistons. Oh, in the best era, the early 80s. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Without him, you don't draft Isaiah Thomas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to. Um, I found no information on his politics. I didn't really read it. he's not a politician. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what an administrator does or what it is. So, I don't, do feel, do? I, don't I don't feel like that's a political job. No, I don't, I don't think it is because I'm reading that, the article. It seems about, like a business manager job. Yeah, and he was appointed by the Kent County Board of Commissioners as the uh, assistant, assistant administrator. administrator to take over the interim county administrator job. But there is—it's not a vote. The search there no. is a search for a permanent replacement. The Board of Commissioners voted on on no. Thursday, April 27th, to appoint him. Until yeah. then, so he's he's very qualified. He'll likely Boy, get to like yeah, like what, like right now in an interim basis, he's the best at making sure the right paper gets in the right pile. That is the weirdest smear campaign attempt I've ever seen. Hey, I made a thousand flyers, and I hate this guy. Do you want to go distribute them around town? No, but I will throw them off one parking right. ramp. Mm-hmm. Listen, hear me out. Hey, throw them at that guy down there smoking. Okay, cool. <laughs> you, you do you want to know why he will be the new? Assistant or the the new administrator? Uh, because he's good at chatting, has a penis, and he's been the token black guy for 30 plus years. Well, it's because the current one, he announced his retirement after decades of service. Daryl DeLabio mm-hmm. is going to vacate the position June 30th. I don't think he wants to go. You think DeLabio is... is oh, this is him. 
That's the DeLabio oh. way. <laughs> you put one of ours in the hospital, I put one of yours in the morgue. I don't want that is so DeLabio. I'm DeLabio. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, De- DeLabio, right? Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Which absolutely. is Italian for the labia. Yes. <laughs> right. The beef. Mm-hmm. That's right. Daryl Beef. <laughs> Daryl the Beef. County Administrator. Beef Biscuit. What's my job? I don't know. Wait, Daryl. 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 Oh, yeah. Big Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. Successful tow truck company. Right. Moved that on to being a county <laughs> uh-huh. administrator. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all while wow. working in the meat tart business. Yeah. <laughs> His slogan for both businesses was, there's nothing I can't pull out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give me some pushing and tugging junk for 35 years. <laughs> Give me some of that cute Daniels boy badge. Uh huh. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I love Daryl. Oh, my God. Yeah, he should come back once a week. We got to get Daryl on the show. <laughs> yeah, well, he's retiring soon, so we can, can make yes. that happen. <laughs> I would, actually would like to get the real Daryl on. So you guys can explain to him what has happened to his character. <laughs> oh, we will. I got boner. <laughs> Daryl. That was Daryl when he was a kid. Oh, yeah. God. Yep. <laughs> First yep. time he saw a dead squirrel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice bushy little tail you got there, little yeah. guy. This was, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Just a guy with a tow truck who helped me out with a Ford Escort that might have been my sister's. That's Talk all. about a boner. Yeah. <laughs> you had your sister's milk. <laughs> what he, he wanted. <laughs> yeah, think about that. <laughs> now he wants the cow. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for some skim. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> So, more watery milk. <laughs> Can't Ooh. wait to join the class action lawsuit with Delabia and Brit <laughs> against all of you. Uh, and Daryl. It'll be me, Daryl, the Britter, <laughs> and the Labia all right. taking oh. you guys down. Satire. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, Daryl, and Daryl. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's. I knew that would work out. <laughs> Finally, that Daryl sandwich I've been looking to make. Oh, yeah. Shed ball's never been so stuffed. <laughs> that Daryl says shed different. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put my garbage in your ditch and race it. <laughs> hey, STP. Oh, oh boy. Vaseline, 97.9 GRD Rocks.